Well, Tim Rand seems in good form. Um, we're looking forward to Saturday. Um, he ran very well um, in Dover last time out, um, and he's uh, run two good races in the past two runnings of the um, Haydock Sprint Cup. Yeah, I mean, he's been second, he's been third. Can he make it third time lucky? Well, you know, there's some, there's some very good horses in the race. Um, there's two things that I think there's sort of um, the draw, you know, where, where you're drawn, where the pace is. And the second thing is that, know, how much rain they get up there, you know. Um, it's very different at, um, in the sort of uh, uh, Manchester area to what it is at Newmarket at the moment. You know, it's good to firm down here and it's, I think they're having, there's quite a lot of rain forecast up there. Um, he's run two very good races on, on heavy ground two years ago and, and soft ground last year. But I'm sure he's more effective on top of the ground. He's a hold-up horse. How do you see the race going? Um, well, he's, he's uh, I think you just ride the race and you find it sort of thing. And, uh, um, but you just hope you're near the pace because last time in Dover we were, we were away from the pace and um, he finished very well there, but uh, we were the wrong side. It looks a red-hot race, well, which isn't surprising because it's a group one. Yeah, it's, it's a very good race and um, you know, it's part of the um, uh, champion, sprint championship and um, you know, it's, it's a group one and um, it's, it's, you know, you've got the after, after July Cup it's a, and the Morris de Geest, it, this is the next race and before um, um, the Kipco Sprint at Ascot in um, October. How do you think he'll run on Saturday? Um, you know me, Tom, I'm not going to make too many predictions, but he's in, in good form going to the race um, and his race will be nicely spaced, so I uh, hope he gets a bit of luck in running. And you've changed the jockey, you've got Oisin Murphy on board who is riding at the top of his game. Yeah, Sheen's on fire at the moment and, um, and uh, hopefully he'll find the key to him.